Today, I wanted to share with you six useful productivity apps that are all free. All the apps and names will be also linked in the description. Now let's get started. Number one, Tide. Tide is a meditation and sleep app. It aims at physical and mental care through integrating sleep, meditation, relaxation, and focus into an app. I actually discovered this app a long time ago, but I only started using it recently. Some of the features of this app include focus timers, sleep mode, nap timers, and also breathing mode. For the focus mode, you can pick how long you would like to focus and select a natural sound to play. There are also focus tags that you can add to track whatever you are working on. In sleep mode, you can set the alarm for when you want to wake up, select a natural scene, and then go to bed. I love the sleep mode because you can also choose an auto stop time or the smart mode. In smart mode, time will adjust the time to stop sleep aid sound recordings to the sleep analysis. Nap mode is similar to sleep mode, but you set a timer for how long you want to nap instead of an alarm for when you want to wake up. Nevertheless, there will still be this text that tells you what time the nap will finish. The last mode is called breath. It is to practice breathing. You can choose how long you want to breathe, what natural sound, and the breathing mode. There's the balanced breath and the four to seven to eight breath. Every day when you open the app, Tide gives you a daily inspirational quote, which I really like. It is a great way to start the day. There are also daily Tide sessions in the app. Some are free and others you have to pay for by joining Tide Plus. I find this not a big deal because I don't really use Tide for this purpose. You also get more natural sound backgrounds in the paid version, but I think the free version is good enough. say to yourself, I'll do it later. But the longer you procrastinate on these tasks... One last thing I want to talk about Tide is that you can listen to the natural sounds without being in focus mode, sleep or nap or breathe mode. You can still play the sounds even if you close the app. Number two, Cant. Cant is this daily routine organizer app. A friend actually recommended me this app. They use it very often, but I don't really use it because I don't really complete my routines. Um, however, I would like to use this app more often. I am kind of using this app as a habit tracker to remind me to work out and take my vitamins, but this is like a scheduling app. So you can add more events or tasks that you want to complete throughout the day. The app is very aesthetic, there are no ads whatsoever, and it is also very simplistic and minimalistic. Number three, Pendo. Pendo is an all-in-one calendar app. It can be used for creating to-do lists, making notes, and adding events. It is a very aesthetic calendar with multiple views so you can see everything in the timeline or see the regular calendar view. It's super cute and useful. It can also be synced to your iCloud, calendar app, or even Google Calendar. I was using this app during junior high and also in grade 11. Totally recommend. Number four, Flipped. Flipped is a focus and study timer tracker app. This app just brings back all my memories. I was actually able to focus on this app and actually study. I was using this app every single day. Very shocking. Many people call it flipped, but I call it flippant. And fun fact, Google Translate calls it flippedy. 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 There's a pro version of the app for more features, but I find the free version totally enough for me. My favorite part about this app is that you can study with other people. Seeing so many people studying with you simultaneously is very motivating. There's a streak at the top that tells you how many days you have been continuously focusing for. My goal previously was to study three hours a day for this one exam, which now is over, so I haven't been using the app for a while, but I, it was super helpful and I was actually studying using Flipped. Very surprising. Number five, Notion. I know a lot of you probably have heard of Notion. Notion is an all-in-one workplace app. 
I have known this app honestly since forever. I didn't really continuously use Notion until this year. I saw it as very complicated and never actually began using it. But I watched a few tutorials and I think I got most of the features figured. I use Notion for a lot of things, but my primary use is to track all my deadlines and make to-do lists and schedules. I don't use it as a calendar to remind me of everything, but I use Notion as this extra list to have all my due dates in the table. Keep is a home trainer with many free workout routines and exercises. It has a 400 plus exercise database with detailed descriptions and video guidance by experts. Number six, Keep Trainer. Keep is a home workout trainer with many free workout routines and exercises. It has a 400 plus exercise database with detailed descriptions and video guidance by experts. I've been using this app since junior high, more specifically, <clears throat> I had this app since junior high. I don't work out every day. I used to use this app on my phone, but now I mainly use it on my iPad. A friend actually recommended this app to me and I bike around the neighborhood all the time with Keep. There are many exercises, challenges, and workouts for all levels that you can filter and targets you can select. There are even equipment op options to choose from, which is super helpful for students because I honestly have no equipment or very limited equipment, and above all, the app is free. But there is a pro upgrade if you want to, but I never needed the pro options, and I've had this app for years. And that is it for today's video. If you have any content recommendations or any videos you would like to see from me, don't hesitate to comment. Bye!